Let me tell you something you already know. If you want to be a good hitting coach, and if you want to be a good hitter, we got to understand that hitting is all about our timing. I'm not dismissing the fact that you need to have good techniques and good swing angles and mechanics. But what I'm saying, if you want to be a good hitter, you need to examine, research, and study your timing. Every time I start these out-of-town clinics, I'll gather the players around and I'll inform them to look at hitting like this. Hitting is a race. And every race is going to have a starting line, and every race is going to have a finish line. There are major details, components, and elements that I teach to the players that happen at the starting line. And likewise, there are also major details and components and elements, ingredients that, that happen at the finish line that I teach these players also. A lot of these details are often overlooked and not even considered. It's when a player and a coach understands these significant details that they can, they can see an immediate impact in their player's performance, not only just in batting practice, but carrying it onward into the game. I'm graciously blessed to get feedback from players and parents about how well their player's performing, not just in batting practice, but better during the games. They carry this, this thought process, this concept, in the games with them. It is just so logical to look at hitting through the lenses of timing. When a hitter gets to the home plate and he's looking at hitting from, from the lenses and the viewpoint of timing, he's more sensitive to a starting point. He's more sensitive to an end point. It's hard to find any hitter who did well in a game be asked in the interview from the reporter, what did you do differently? What was going on at home plate? And you hear the hitter talk about, well, you know what? I was When the ball was coming in, I was thinking about trying to get my back knee uh, under my shoulder. I was trying to get my elbow into the slot. Um, I was trying to stay balanced. No, that doesn't happen that way. Hitters talk about seeing the ball better. Hitters talk about, you know what? I felt good at home plate. I was picking the ball up. My timing was better. You know, I just like the way he is aware of his body and his timing. He actually has mentioned it a few times in interviews that what he cares about most is his timing. What is your key? When you go up to the plate, if you, don't give me away your secrets, but one thing that you can say that is your number one priority when you're at the plate. Yeah, I think it's getting ready in the on-deck circle with my timing, um, you know, especially with the little leg kick that I have. Finding the rhythm inside that pitcher is going to allow me to you know, get a good pitch to hit, and when I do, not be late. So, in the post-game interviews, is if this is what the hitter's talking about, picking up the ball early in the flight path, and, you know, adjusting with this timing, why don't we, as, as baseball and softball communities, invest more of our studies and research and observations in timing? Well, it's something that I've done, because I know the value as from, from the player's perspective and the coach's perspective, that this is where the foundation of hitting lies. It lies in the structures of time. Even the pitchers and the pitching coaches, they tell you blatantly, pitching is about disrupting the batter's timing. I'm going to throw one fast, I'm going to throw one slow. I'm going to throw one straight, I'm going to bend one. I'm going to throw one inside, I'm going to throw one outside. They even try to manipulate the spatial awareness of the batter. They're all off-speed pitches. They're all trying to destroy the hitter's timing. Like that changeup right there. Yeah. 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 But that's just a straighter, off-speed pitch, uh, yeah. right? A little easier maybe to throw for a strike. Maybe you don't want a ball moving in toward a hitter, so you throw a changeup that'll stay out away from it. Uh, but they're all off-speed pitches. It's all you don't want that guy to have you timed. So you're always adding and subtracting. Don't want that guy to have you timed. Don't want that guy to have you timed. I have two great video series that help the hitter fortify themselves with knowledge and detailed understanding about timing. It starts with the best hitting drill ever video series. This video series 
has a video which is number seven in the series that gives you detailed information about how to control the finish line. Now, when I usually go to these camps, I always tell the players, hitting's a race. There's a, and every race has a starting line and every race has a finish line. You can afford to make mistakes on a starting line. You don't want to, but you can. But you cannot afford to make any mistakes when it comes to the finish line. And video number seven of the best hitting drill ever, the third edition, is where I start every single camp. When you're ready to make the big investment, the world's greatest hitting formula has the big gold nuggets that teaches the hitters how to control the starting point and how to actually see the ball early in the flight path. There's a real technique to use. It's teachable, it's manageable, it's something that players need to take with them into the game and help them to organize their thinking when they're standing at home plate, how to actually think about the ball coming from the pitcher's body. It's often said, hey, just see the ball out of the pitcher's hand. I don't teach that because I know as a player and I, I know as a coach and as a researcher and as an op, uh, being a, an observer, I don't see the ball out of the pitcher's hand. There is an illusion taking place and I teach your players to use the pitcher's common denominator, not release point, to see the ball early in the flight path. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Let's make the investment and help our players to be as good as they can be while they're still young. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com.